Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of March 3rd, uh, 2021. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, it's been a really odd week for me. Just it's I've been off a little um, for mainly numerous reasons. I thought I was supposed to go get a uh, my first um, COVID vaccine today, but um, <clears throat> I got there and apparently my appointment was yesterday, uh, Tuesday. So yeah, um, so I had to reschedule and hopefully I'll be able to get that done on Friday now. So yeah, so that's kind of where my, I'm, I'm, yeah, I just couldn't, got the dates jumbled. So, but you know, Hey, what can you do? There's a lot, excuse me, there's a lot to get through this week. Um, first up we have, um, the future states done. So, uh, DC is returning to their normal, um, production or pro or what it, normally normal stuff they produce um, and bringing some new stuff into it. So first up, we have a Batman number 106. Uh, and if you notice, we have the new tag up in front right there. Let me, let me yep, boom. So we got that going on. Uh, it's James to, to, Tiny in the fourth. Can't wait to read it. It's great stuff. Next up is a new one, number one from Boom Studios, and that this one's written by Keanu Reeves and Matt Kent, and it's Berserker number one. Um, last year, they did a Kickstarter for the Berserker uh, graphic novel that will eventually come out. Uh, it, the thing just annihilated its um, original funding goal, and people are just going nuts for it. So hopefully you got to grab your copy of Berserker number one. Next up is a new DC title. Um, it's a mini series that I think a lot of people are kind of, I, I don't know if they're really, they, I, I know it wasn't ordered as much as I think it should be, but it's definitely something that like I am super stoked for and I cannot wait to dive into it. And that's crime syndicate number one of six. Um, I think we still have a handful of copies left at comics conspiracy, but I know that a lot of people did not order that in the numbers they probably should have. I think it's going to be an underrated title that springs up and people go, oh my God, I want that. Um, but yeah, Crime Syndicate, can't wait. Next up is The Dreaming Waking Hours number eight. I now have officially three issues of The Dreaming to catch up on um, since six was delayed. I got seven and then I got six and now I got eight. Uh, but Dreaming is still amazing. It's still awesome. Um, the, uh, our, the artist is uh, uh, just amazing um, and yeah. Um, G. Willow Wilson's done a fantastic job on it. Next up is a the basically the number zero that you want to get from DC, and that's Infinite Frontier. Uh, it's written by Joshua Williamson and a whole bunch of other uh, creators, tons of artists in it. This is kind of like the new um, uh, the new Rebirth issue. Uh, so definitely grab this, check this out. There's going to be a regular Infinite Frontier series. So I think it's a one to seven. So this is the zero for that series. So be sure to grab a copy of Infinite Frontier. Uh, next up is an issue that came out last month, but I didn't pick it up. And then I saw issue two and there's a certain team in it. And then I went back and that team makes cameo at the end of the first issue. And then they're in the second issue and then they're most likely in the third issue. So I kind of had to get it. And that was uh, Man Bat in number one. Um, it's a mini series. I was going. I wasn't really too stoked on it, so I kind of skipped it. But then issue two came out, and he's going up against the Suicide Squad, so I kind of had to get it. Uh, so it's on my pull list now. So we'll see how it does. Hopefully, it is entertaining enough that it, I'm not completely disgusted by it, and only keep the issues that have Suicide Squad in it in the back of my Suicide Squad section. Um, we'll see. Next up we have Marvel Action Captain Marvel number one from IDW. This one's for my daughter to check out. Uh, she hasn't do di she hasn't co completely gone into comics, but she's likes a lot of the stuff like the princess stuff and Captain Marvel. So we'll see. Um, hopefully she gets the bug. Uh, next up is a new number one from Scott Snyder um, and our, with artist Tony Daniel. And uh, we've I actually could have read this a lot sooner. Um, I got a PD, uh, black and white PDF copy of this um, from the Kickstarter that um, I just put up my unboxing video of. And that's for Noctera number one. Um, yeah, so check it out. It is awesome. There's a bunch of covers. There's one cover I did not get, and I'll get into that in the variance part of the video. Um, but yeah, Noctera is out, number one. You need to check it out and get it. And yes, that's the Boss Logic print right there. Woohoo! 
Uh, next up is Overwatch, Tracer, London Calling, number four of five. This is okay. I've been enjoying it for the most part. Um, it's not something that I'm like, oh my God, you have to read it. Um, but I can definitely see Overwatch fans getting into it and enjoying it. Next up, we have the new number one, and but it's not necessarily a new number one. It's been, it came out digitally first and now it's coming out in print. And that's the Sensational Wonder Woman number one. Uh, I am super stoked to finally be able to read this. Um, I don't I don't do digital very much. I only really get digital for stuff I really, really love. So um, I'm really excited to finally get to check out the Sensational Wonder Woman. I've heard good things. Next up is the only Marvel book I buy, and that is, well, the only solo Marvel book from Marvel Studios. I know Marvel Action is Marvel technically, but it's IDW. Um, but this is just straight Marvel. And that is um, Star Wars High Republic number three. Um, I've been, I like the first issue and the second issue, really good stuff. Um, cannot wait to dive into three. I am currently reading, um, and I'll reiterate this at the end of the video. I'm currently reading uh, the Star Wars Light of the Jedi, uh, book by Charles Soule. I'm almost about 100 pages in. It's really good. Um, it's, it's, there's a lot going on in those first 100 pages, and it's, definitely a ride so um if you have been on the fence about it i would highly recommend checking it out uh next up we have star wars the high republic number two or uh, star wars adventures of the high republic uh number two from idw uh so yeah so this is the more kid centric one um i think i read the first one i don't remember i'll have to double check um but uh i definitely am super stoked for the high republic stuff uh, new number one from DC, and that is the Suicide Squad, number one. And yes, Peacekeeper is in the front and center there, uh, because Peacekeeper is going to be, I think, a dominant role in the Suicide Squad movie, and also in the Peacekeeper TV show that they're doing on HBO Max. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, super stoked. Next up is uh, not a complete maxi series, but it's a, it's a one, one, one of ten, and that's The Swamp Thing. Uh, one of ten and that is by Ram V. I cannot wait to dive into this I've seen a little bit of what it in, like like teasing and stuff off from online and it looks Really really good. So I can't wait to dive in and hopefully fingers crossed It's another great run of Swamp Thing because Swamp Thing is an amazing character and I just I cannot It, it just it's yeah when it's good. It's really good and finally on the pull list is The Walking Dead Deluxe number 10. I am pretty much two issues away from having to read two trades worth of The Walking Dead stuff in color. Um, I need to get on it and just sit down, hunker down, and plow through it, but eventually I'll get there. Uh, I did pick up a bunch of variants this week. Um, there are a lot of variants. Let me move this over. It's a shifting phase. Uh, first up, I got the wraparound cover for Batman 106. Uh, it wraps around, but uh, I guess I should show you since it's a, it's a nice wraparound cover. Uh, so we have everybody on that side and then everybody over there on the back. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Hopefully your store ordered enough to so you could snag a copy when you finally get there. Uh, if not, well, I don't know what to tell you. Your store needs to uh, improve their ordering because this is an awesome cover. Uh, there was a 1 in 25 cover for this issue. I did not pick that up. Um, so, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, Infinite, uh, Infinite Frontier Zero had a variant cover, so I snagged that one up. Um, and then here we go with the Noctera ones. Now, Image has been doing what's called a secret variant. So there is actually a variant to the A cover, but it doesn't actually have a different barcode. It's still the same barcode as... Um, the uh, A cover, and so it's called a secret cover. Um, and for Noctera, it's this, where she has this mask thing on, if you can see it right there. In the other one, she doesn't have the mask. Uh, I'll show you side by side. Let me grab the, so close, so close. Yeah, so in the regular A cover, she doesn't have the, uh, the mask, but in this one, she does, so. This is the secret variant right here. Uh, it does have, again, the same barcode as um, the regular A cover. So you'll have to like kind of weed through and look through and see if if you snagged one or if you actually got one put in your box ac accidentally. Um, but yeah, another cover. Uh, cover B is the Jacques cover. So I've snagged that one up. Boss Logic was coming in at the C cover. So I picked that one up as well. 
Uh, Greg Capullo did a number one. I snagged that one up as well. There, of course, was a blank variant. So I picked that one up. And there was a one in 10 uh, for Francis Manipool's cover. So I actually decided to snag that one up as well. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, Nocterra number one covers. There will be another one coming down the pipeline because the Glow in the Dark variant did not ship this week. It's supposed to ship in a few weeks. Don't know why that is. I might, my guess is it's due to a uh, publishing delay or a delay um, in getting here from wherever it's coming from. So yeah, but I'm super stoked to see the the um, Glow in the Dark one. There's a blackout one and like some sketchy one, sketch variants and stuff like that for Nocterra, but I'm super stoked for the, the black, the, the Glow in the Dark one. Next up is, I stacked the cover, uh, the big cover for Overwatch, um, Tracer London Calling, because I thought it was cool. Uh, Sensational Wonder Woman number one had an awesome variant cover, snagged up. Um, of course, Suicide Squad number one had a Peacekeeper cover, picked that one up as well. Swamp Thing number one had a variant, and I was like, oh yeah, must get that, that's awesome. So, that is it for my variants for this week. Um, I did get a special order this week. Um, and that is the DC uh, poster portfolio for Greg Capullo. This is actually not the cover that, that was solicited. They they solicited it with the, um, I don't even know if they put it in the in this. No, they didn't even put it in this one. I think it's the issue one of Dark of, of Metal um, was supposed to be the cover, but it's not. Um, and But it does have a bunch of his awesome covers on there. So if you like Greg Capullo, Definitely snag up the um, the poster portfolio from him from DC. Uh, I have a handful of them. Um, they're up here, so he's going to go join the other ones. Um, the past few weeks, um, I have been I've been I grabbed some stuff the in the past few days um, just because one was a great sale. Uh, another is something that I've wanted to read but have not, um, and um, I'm actually going to read it for uh, Teen Read Week at my work. Um, this is uh, this is the one from George Takai. It's They Called Us Enemy. Um, I haven't read this. I want to read it. So I'm going to do a book review of it for um, Teen Read Week for the high school I work at. Um, so, yep, yeah, cannot wait to dive into this one. Uh, I've read the other two books, the Sky Hunter one, which you guys saw by Marie Lu, and uh, I've read the uh, Teen Titans Beast Boy. Um, by Cami Garcia. Really great. I can't, I need to do my video on it, but uh, for the school, but yeah, they call us enemy. Definitely wanted to check this one out. So, so I finally snagged it to be able to do that. Um, next up is uh, one that I have been wanting to read for a while, um, but I wanted to get the, uh, the trilogy slipcase cover, which was, you know, hovering around 50 bucks or, or yeah, and so I was, it's not that I didn't want to buy it. It's just, it's that $50 purchase. You're just kind of like, oh, okay. Um, but Amazon had an amazing deal on this almost 50. It was like 40 some odd percent off, which is better than my discount. Um, so I just had to do it. And so that that's the March um, trilogy slipcase, the John Lewis March titles. Uh, so yeah, so I am super, super stoked that I finally get this and I finally get a chance to read this. Um, because I did uh, read a couple pages of the first one, and man, is it really good. So I'm glad I snagged this up. There is a link um, on conspiratorbrock.com. Uh, that is my uh, book, ad book for the week. Um, so you can click on that and check it out. But it is on sale as of this recording. Don't know how long that's going to be, but definitely if you've been thinking about getting March, I would head over to Amazon to pick it up. Um, and if you've been watching WandaVision, this is a small spoiler sp spot, so if you haven't watched it, skip ahead a little bit. Um, but in WandaVision, the last, this last episode, um, episode 8, I believe, uh, there was a huge reveal at the end. Um, and that reveal was um, that uh, there is a white vision, um, which sent um, the price of a really random um, issue of... Uh, West Coast Avengers, I'm trying to find it here, uh, uh, to skyrocket because it's the first appearance of the White Vision uh, in continuity. So uh, let me see, where did they have it? Oh, man. It's, it's, it's somewhere. Give me a second. Okay, I got that one. It's 
thing. I know it's a great, great video right here. I'm staring down, not even paying attention to you guys. Okay, so issue 45 of West Coast Avengers is the first appearance of uh, Vision, the white, or White Vision specifically. So this is the cover to that. It's actually an homage cover to the Avengers 57, which I picked up the facsimile of. So this is the first appearance of Vision here. This is the facsimile, and this is the first appearance of the White Vision. So it's really awesome that they kind of had this homage cover to it. Um, but I've never actually read it, but I really wanted to. So uh, it's part of the Vision Quest story arc. So they do have a Vision Quest trade. So if you just want to read those specific issues of um, West Coast Avengers, or Avengers, sorry, Avengers West Coast, then uh, you can pick that up. Uh, but for me, I really enjoy these... Uh, essential collections so i decided to get the essential collection to get the vision quest and this is uh volume four uh they have it on the back they don't have it on the spine uh so yeah so vision quest is in here so if you watched wandavision you're like what where does that happen where does that take place it's vision quest uh go check it out but issue 45 for west coast <laughs> avengers west coast or west coast avengers no avengers west coast damn it um yeah that thing shot up in price and is is crazy um there is a funny story about it shooting up in price and being a spoiler on the comics conspiracy podcast episode 490 so there'll be a link in the description below and i'll mention it again later but uh yeah you can listen to the story there so but if you guys are watching wandavision and you are curious that's where that is um i am i've been giving you guys updates on what i've been reading so i said earlier that i've been reading uh the star wars high republic light of the jedi by charles soul um, and as you can see there, that's as, about as much as I've gotten through. Uh, it's a really good read. I, I need to just sit down and kind of plow through a big chunk of it. I've kind of only been reading it in small spurts. So, uh, yeah, so it's definitely something that I am um, uh, uh, super excited for. And there's so much stuff coming from High Republic. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and then the next thing that I'm, having, I'm diving into um, because it's part of work um, is Brave New World by Aldeus Huxley. Um, so I've never read this before, so I'm supposed, I'm, so the class I'm in is reading it, so I picked this up to read it. It's interesting, but I don't know how much I'm enjoying it, um, so we'll see, but I just started it, so who knows. But that's it for this week. Um, it's a big, giant week. Um, lots going on. Um, please, uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let's keep it nice. Um, let's not make it a cesspool of, of disgustingness like I, apparently the Kickstarter for Tiny Epic Dungeons, um, like chat, or like chat, like comment section was, it, I, it, like I gleamed over it and it was, it was horrible. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's keep it nice. Um, you can, uh, also listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. Again, that's episode 490 that we just finished recording, um, the link will be in the description below, and yes, it will be in the description below because uh, Ryan finally posted it. Um, but I, the other two I need to update on the YouTube channels for 88 and 89. Um, so going forward, I need to do that. Um, but you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees and getting products. So thank you very much to all of our Patreon backers. It helps out immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is where I would say you can normally follow me on Twitter, but you can actually follow me again if you want. I got, I made an account on the DL, um, thanks to a friend. And so it's it works. I'm not sure how long it's gonna work. Hopefully it keeps working. Um, but the account is BES Basement. Um, that is my Twitter handle, BES Basement. Um, it's all lowercase, just B-E-S, um, because I didn't really think B-S basement was good, um, because people just call it bullshit basement, and B-B basement just sounded weird, um, but if I put B-E-S, then it's like, because I can't put an apostrophe for B's basement, like Brock's basement, uh, which is what I would name the comic book store I ever owned, or at this rate, the, the comic book retailer storage facility that I'm going to run up most likely for uh, comic book stores uh, that uh, just need a place to store their comics. So yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, check me out. I'm back there. I haven't really done much. Uh, I just made it today. So uh, we'll see. But uh, you can follow me again. And my guess is within a week, 
you're going to follow me and then my other account's going to be unlocked because that's in, yeah, it's who knows, but BES basement, uh, check it out. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm super tired. Oh yeah. You can uh, help me out more directly by going to any of the Amazon links. Uh, like I said, conspiratorbrock.com has the link for, uh, March, uh, the cheap March, but I'll put it in the description below here for you guys. Um, it's definitely well worth it, uh, at the price point that Amazon has it right now. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want to support my local shop. I'm like, you do support your local shop when you keep buying comics from them. When you go and buy one random thing from Amazon because you're getting a super better deal than you could ever get at the comic store, you're not hurting the comic book store because they didn't order that many copies of that book. Like we order a, the slipcase from March all the time. The trilogy slipcase, we order it all the time. It comes, somebody buys it, and then we order another one. So that's, that's the cycle for us. Uh, we're not a Amazon where it can sit on a shelf until somebody gets it and then, you know, they move product that way. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm super tired. Uh, and with the oh, whole, just the wrong date for the COVID thing and all that stuff, my, my brain's just discombobulated and I just, I'm like, ugh. So, yeah. But uh, hopefully going forward, it'll be a little bit better. And hopefully Friday... I get that nice vaccine first dose and uh even though my arm hopefully won't be sore but even if it is i'll watch one i'm oh i'll watch hopefully watch wandavision thursday night because uh yeah i'm not really waiting for it my roommate wants to not wait for it either so i'm gonna be up late on thursday so yeah but uh yeah that's it for this week you guys need to go home or you're already home or whatever i'm out